In this video, we will be using a corridor reference to terminate the end conditions on our mainline corridor using Open Roads Designer. In this file, we have two corridors. We have a mainline corridor and we have a side road corridor. The terrain is referenced in and set active and also the geometry is referenced in. First, we're gonna construct our corridor reference element. For this, we'll be using offsets and tapers. Then we'll go to single offset partial. For the feature definition, we're gonna use intersection corridor reference left. We'll locate our center line. We want a data point here and then here. Mirror no. Now we want to adjust the stationing of our corridor reference line string. Before we apply our corridor reference, we want to take the element that we have just drawn and we want to remove the civil rules from it. So we'll select it. When our ribbon comes up, we'll go here to Rules, Remove Rule. Now we can apply our corridor reference. Add corridor reference. We want to select this corridor because these are the end conditions that we want to clip first reference, select our line, then right click to reset to complete. And now our corridor is going to reprocess and turn the end conditions off at this station range. Next thing we want to do is try to resolve some of these little small gaps that you see with the end conditions. In order to do this, we're going to use key stations. So we'll select our corridor from the ribbon, navigate to key station, and we'll select a spot about right here. Then we go ahead and select the other side as well. So now you see we have a good side road tie-in to our main line alignment. 